Welcome back, and now that we've finally explained the concept of resources in Synchro, we are ready to start assigning them to tasks. So let's look at this roof, for example, and let's try to find the relevant task that we need to assign it to in the schedule. So pause the video now and try to use the schedule navigation techniques we learned earlier to find the relevant task for this roof. Okay, so hopefully you were able to find the task. Now this is interesting because if you click on that and then go to uh, the task, you may be tempted to just control F and find roof. And if you do that, you'll find slab on deck high roof, which sounds very fitting. However, if you keep going, then you'll see roofing high roof. So how do you know if this is for the roofing and for the slab on deck? And the answer is not uh, always the same. So in this case, if we look at the tree, it says insulation uh, thermal barriers. And if we hide that temporarily by unloading it, we see that there's a second layer. And the second layer underneath is probably the slab on deck high roof. Um, in some, in a lot of cases in 4D, you'll have just one slab that is used for both tasks with different colors and appearance profiles. We'll talk about that later. But for now, just be aware of this. Uh, for our purposes now, actually, let's hide the architectural model and simply work on the structural. So if you go all the way up, we can unload the architectural. And then we wouldn't need to worry about that. That would be the slab on deck high roof. So to find it again, I can control F and then roof, find next, slab on deck high roof. Now we're not going to worry about appearance profiles right now. Make sure that it just says install over here in the drop down. We'll worry about that in the next video. So let's look at six different ways in which you can assign a resource to a schedule. So if nothing is selected and I just select this object, then it will snap to that object in the 3D objects tree. So I can just simply drag and drop. Now, two things may happen. Either the object might disappear in your 3D view or it won't. And the reason why it wouldn't is if the focus time happens to be after the task. So if the focus time happens to be after the task, the object is there. Before the task, the object isn't, if we're using install. And if the focus time happens to be on the actual task, we'll actually detail those in a later video. It'll be highlighted in green. But let's put the focus time all the way in the beginning. And that's one way to assign a resource to a task. I'm going to undo. The second way is the exact same thing, however, from the resources tree. So if I click on that, sorry, clicked on a wrong object. So if you I click on that, I can drag and drop and it's assigned. I can undo. A third method would be to drag and drop from the 3D view. However, you can't really do that without holding any buttons. If you hold Control and Alt, you can do that. Now, I rarely ever use this method, but I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to undo. So that's three methods using drag and drop. Let's talk about uh, the other three methods, which would be either right click on the resource and assign to the task or right click on the task and assign selected resource. So those are two methods. And then if you notice before clicking on that, you'll see a keyboard short key and that's the sixth method, control shift A. So if you just click control shift A, it would assign it. And these are six methods. Now there will be a seventh method, which is auto matching, which we'll cover in a later video. So pause the video now and practice assigning using the six different methods, the high roof and the low roof to the relevant tasks. And if you find any other resources that you'd like to assign, do that as well. So pause the video now and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. And if you've assigned more than one resource to a single task, you've probably felt like you need to learn more about how to manage these assignments. And that's what we'll do in the remaining part of this video. So first thing first, when you assign a resource to a task, you might notice a small change in the bar right here. And you'll see that there will be a small blue circle at the corner of the task. Now that's a cool thing, but that's not very salient. So there's also at the end of the Gantt chart, a column called 3D resources. And it'll show the number of resources of 3D resources assigned to a task. Now what I like to do is to take this and drag it and drop it all the way next to the name of the task. And sometimes maybe even before the name of the task. And that will allow me to, while I'm working on a project, actually here, I like it better. 
while I'm working on a project to be able to see how I'm assigning my resources to my tasks. So you'll see a one if the resource is directly assigned to a task. If I add another one, so maybe this slab, then it's a two. And then you'll see at the parent of the task an indirect assignment, so it's a parenthesis. So for example, if I assign something here, let's assign some random beams over here, it's a five, however, it's a five in parenthesis, but I can also assign to the parent and that allows us to play around with the level of detail <clears throat> sometimes. And you see here there's six outside of the parentheses, five inside, 11 here, and 13 here because it will also include these two. So that's a good indicator. Uh, I'm going to undo those. Now we've also learned that you can, if the resource is showing, so if the focus time is here, you can use a resource to figure out what tasks it's assigned to. We've learned that in the introduction videos. So if I select that slab, Whoops, that slab over here, I can right click, select assign to tasks and to jump to that task. Or if I select the task, I can right click, select assign resources and to highlight that. But a more effective way, especially when there's multiple resources assigned to a task, or if multiple resources are assigned to many different tasks, so maybe do this, uh, and it's through the task properties and resource properties. So if I go to task properties, I can see a list of the resources under that brown box called resources. And if you're scrolled all the way here, you might have to like scroll this way to see it. I can see a list of resources. So if I see, oh, this is slab on deck, why are there so many beams? Then I can unassign these and, or I can unassign all, or I can select them and unassign those. So you can see a list floor, that's good part. We don't want this on a sign. Uh, maybe, do we want this? Probably, do we want this? No. And you can figure out how to fix things this way. In this case, we don't want any of these. It was just for example. And the other way around would be to select an object and then go to resource properties and then go to tasks, which is this icon that looks like some bar charts. And let's find a resource that's assigned to multiple tasks. So maybe this one over here. This is assigned to two tasks. Slab on deck, high roof, which sounds cool. Grade beams, which doesn't. So I can right click and unassign from here. So these are four ways to check and manage the assignments. Other than the visual ones, which are here in this corner ball, then there's four ways, which is either right click select or right click select or resource properties, tasks or task properties, resources. So practice that and I'll see you in the next video.